The focus meter, it, it doesn't matter. I can kick it in the middle. The only reason why I'm not kicking it in the middle is because there's kind of like a a bunch thing in the middle uh, when you call them. And it, they'll have like a domino effect and they block and you know, they do that. They call them like down the field in the middle thing. And then you just run up the middle and you just run away from somebody as they all collapse. To, you know, uh, But, uh, fumbles can happen more if you've got hit power, because they're going to try to break the outside after running up the middle, and you whack on the hit power person to the outside. But if they miss, then it's a touchdown. jump guys here uh, just put quickly out there and middle is yeah or uh, yeah you see him or use him the in it's got Bennett that works fine I think and free safety go ahead and bring up Dawkins and Sean Taylor. Mm -hmm. He's still kicks in the ass, I think. Nope, doesn't do that. Speed uh, Bo Jackson right in. Second down. 
Yeah. Uh, let's see, I've got five jumpers, so yeah, five green perfects if I was on them. This squad was in three versus three, and you'd see three at a time. If they control those ones that jump on them. This is our first appearance, I think. Bo picked up the fumble off the hitter's tape. Well, that's right. It's early enough. I can't play with Gimme. The goal line thing, at everything getting caught or shoelace grab to the one. He, oh man. Yeah, that's right. Always occurs uh, in there. Now, you know, let's parallel that to you know, to a similar uh, milk can thing. Um, it, in that, that, that type of thing, then what is the fall at one thing uh, pace for the rest of the football game. That that pace would be the up 10, then it's 10-0, then 10-10, 17-10, 23-17, 17, where it goes back and forth from both teams scoring the equal amount. Oh, yeah, until they have one stick skill that goes through as the game changer. To the, so then, like, your cloud was working, it was consistent, but now it's inconsistent. It has to have, be a different game changer to, to keep them from doing no, no. Yeah, I'll take this deck in there. I think I'm going to get a banana. Yeah. Bananas? No? No? No one? Alright, no? Okay. See what it's...
Uh, if I cross 10 million or something like that, I'll start considering updating the short team. Especially if they win in, in uh, three versus three. focus kicker into Hecker, uh, like the punter doing kickoff, 94, 94 kickoff, but you wouldn't have any lag in those uh, weekend home things. to avoid the interception. They changed their hockey into the bruiser ones. So call it time out. So cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Maybe they ought to think 
situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and make a really nice tackle? The Saints on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and it just plays better and better. And here's more step now as he sends this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not as bad. To take over here, first and ten. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. I tell you what, they got the lead here in the second half, and you can attribute part of that at least to some great returns on special teams, particularly in the running game. And when we add up yardage during the game, we often miss some of the key yardage, don't we? And that's what you get in the kick return game. In this case, punt returns. We also call the area hidden yardage. Changes field position, makes big plays, and that's why they're leading here. Take it in the end zone. Van Hillenek now to return this one, so they'll 